Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. Football season has begun. That means tailgating or at least the foods that go with the event. Local chef Shireen Murad has recipes for indoor and outdoor fun this morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. I hope it's a great Monday. You know, see, coming off of a good football Sunday, I did the chicken wings yesterday. It is my favorite food. Everybody around here knows that. But I'm really interested because you have a recipe for a dry rub, and I want to hear what you got. So I like to really make it basic, healthy, and as, as much as we can still make it crispy. Okay. So I'm just going to throw all of our seasonings. I make our my own seasoning, or you can honestly go to any place and grab a local chicken wing seasoning mm -hmm. or pork seasoning and, and use that as well. So don't feel like you have to make your own. But it seems like so this I is fairly thinking, simple, right? Oh, yes. So you'll probably have all of these things in your pantry, mm -hmm. which again is something i like i don't need to go to the store and yes. buy 50 things right um, so we're just using like garlic powder um we're using chili powder we're using um paprika we're using brown sugar we're using cayenne pepper um a little bit of cumin if you want and if there's i love brown sugar um mm -hmm. i use dark brown sugar you okay. can use light brown sugar it doesn't matter okay and make sure you always remember to use a little bit of salt and pepper in there too. Of course, yeah, that's I, really pretty, I have all of those ingredients. Those I think you're right. I think I've got them all in my pantry right now, so I'm good to roll. See, and then all you have to do is just, you can even have chicken wings in the freezer. Okay. And use those. So, you know, you can have all these ingredients in your home at any time. So when football Sunday comes around, you mix, uh, put it in the oven for 40 minutes, and you're good to go when everyone comes. And there you go. So is that is that usually how you um, do your chicken wings in the oven, or do you, do you try air fryers or anything like that? You know, I am one to never do a lot of things the same way, so <laughs> I love to try new things. So this weekend, what we did was um, I put a little olive oil, uh, uh, not olive oil, uh, vegetable oil okay. on these just a tiny bit just to be able to coat it sure and then so it grabs that rub sure um now i like to air fry a lot because it becomes crispy i do too um baking it is also just so good for the crispiness of it so mm -hmm. you're still getting if you're doing high heat you can still get that crispy flavor and that's technically what you want out of a wing right and that crispy, i don't so use important. a lot of sauces yes exactly mm -hmm. i don't use a lot of sauces unless um, I'm doing it dipped on the side. Okay. Because um, you never know who's on a diet, who doesn't like sauces, sure. who wants spicy, who doesn't want barbecue. There's so many sauces out there. It's kind there of crazy. Are. Yeah, and I'm kind of like a, I love my buffalo flavored sauce. I'm not much for like a honey barbecue or like those other types of flavors, but I do like dry rubs as well. So I'm pretty excited about this because as I mentioned, I've got all those ingredients so I can try it myself. <laughs> So this kind of works. And then you throw it on a foil pan. Mm -hmm. um, I put a rack in the top of it. Just It, it makes it crispy on both sides of it. Mm -hmm. And I toss it in the oven for 45 minutes okay. at 400 or 425. Okay. Easy peasy. And you're done. <laughs> and then you've got crispy chicken wings. Yeah, my, my favorite. Delicious. You're going to make sliders for us this morning, too. I am. So I'm going to quickly do this for you. Um, we have sliders. This is what they look like done. Okay. I have my meat prepped over here. I use any meat that's in the refrigerator. If you have extra lunch meat, mm -hmm. uh, I always have pepperoni and sal salami for my cheese boards. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is not going to come off. <laughs> um, you got Hawaiian rolls there? Today, right, of course. I have Hawaiian rolls here. And then I have a little bit of butter and a little mm. bit of banana Oh, my favorite. I so love easy. banana peppers. So I'm just going to grab my pan, throw my sliders right on here. And I just cut them right in the middle to okay. make it super simple. Yeah. Look at that. That's the easy then, way right there. <laughs> it, it doesn't get easier, right? Yeah. And, and then you then got then your salami, pepperoni, your ham, provolone. I just layer yep keep layering all of your meats over this and then start putting um your other meats 
on there as well. Mm -hmm. And then for your bell, uh, banana peppers, pepperoncinis, yes. whatever you choose to use. She's I'm speaking my language today. These, these are all of quick. my favorites. And then you had the, the finished product there that you put some butter on the top, you said? So I just put a little bit of butter on the top and then I put um, Italian seasoning on the top gotcha. as well. Okay. And then I just put a little of the cheese. Make sure the cheese is the last thing to go on top. Good to know. And then over here, put a little butter on the top of it. Mm. You can use um, canola oil, you can use olive oil, you can use the spray, really depends on whatever you want. And then I just drizzle this right on top wow. there. Delicious. And it's done. Done, it's you're done. So we got chicken wings, we got Italian sliders. These are my favorite types of food. You were speaking my language today. Um, of course, we've got the recipes for you on our website. Shireen, thank you so much for joining us this morning and making us nice and hungry. Thank you. <laughs> yep, Have take care. Have a great day. You and too. remember to make these for Football Sunday. We'll do it, I'll do it. All right, when we come...